Hey guys, welcome to our 3R challenge. Uh, we got nominated by Mark from Biker Bits. If you haven't seen his channel, here's the link. Thanks Mark, top bike. I think we had something like 300 subscribers on this channel when we originally sent in some stickers to Mark and he gave us a really good shout out and um, really got the, the ball rolling for our channel, which is awesome. Good on you Mark. So we've just come for a bit of a ride out here today. Uh, forgot to bring the beers, which is a real bummer, but anyway. Um, that was her fault. <laughs> so I guess I'll go first since I was the uh, first one to um, jump to the Orange Camp. Obviously some of you guys will know that we used to ride Yamahas. Um, we're, not, we're not brand fan boys and fan girls here, we just, we like all bikes. We had no dramas with the Yamahas, just um, probably my WR450 was getting close to needing a rebuild. Um, and I just wanted to try something different, basically. Uh, I know that I wanted a big bore four-stroke enduro bike. Um, so out of the choices you've got, um, probably the biggest reason that swayed me to the KTM was the, the PDS shock. Uh, I love that PDS suspension in the back. You don't have that big linkage hanging down, catching on shit and um, getting dirty and and wet and needing servicing all the time with the PDS. Obviously, you've just got that one heim joint to maintain and it's it doesn't catch on stuff. It's just really good. The second reason, oh, the second reason probably I'd say that we went with KDM was parts availability. I know the parts are ridiculously expensive, but um, there's so many aftermarket parts for them and everything. And, and we have a, a, a KDM dealer here in, um, in town. So that was a big bonus for us too. I guess the third reason is that they're so popular. I mean, people like them, people keep buying them. Everybody's got one, so they must be doing something right. So I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> anyway, I'll hand it over to Nat. I'm uh, sure she's got three great reasons ready for why she <laughs> picked the 350. I'm not sure if they're great reasons, but um, I had a little Honda CRF 150 and um, just wanted to get a little bit of a more powerful bike so when Josh was looking at the Yamaha 450 I bought his 250 of him so I had the WR 250R um, it was, Yeah but it, why did you pick? I'm getting to sorry. that oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good bike, it was really good but um, Wait the 250? The 250, it was a good bike, it, was, it had enough power for what I wanted um, but in the end, given the kind of stuff that we do, I wanted something a little bit more lighter um, because I was forever dropping the bike. When Josh got his KDM, I had a, I had a go of it and um, I, I quite enjoyed it and um, it seemed like a, a, a good choice. The only thing that sort of swayed me, well, I didn't like too much about it, that it didn't have that, that what do you call it? That joint at the bottom, the link. The linkage. Yeah, it didn't have the linkage, so I couldn't lower it. But I ended up just paying the money and got my suspension done anyway, which lowered the bike quite dramatically. So I was able to touch the ground comfortably. Um, so you got it lowered properly. I got it lowered in the properly, end, which in was the a end. good thing. Cost yes. more money, but but it was well worth, worth it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And you were you were pretty well impressed with the little things that I showed you on the 500, weren't you? Like. Just little changes from Yamaha, little innovations that KDM have on their bikes that, that the Jap bikes don't have. I liked the clutch levers and having a hydraulic clutch rather than a cable clutch. That was a big plus for me yeah. um, because I, I get sore hands quite often when I ride and having that, that ease of the hydraulic in the clutch and using the clutch and stuff was a lot, was a lot better. And, um, yeah. So there, there were a lot of reasons. and But even just little things like the build quality of just the way the wheel spaces fit into the bearings and they go in properly and mm. stay in there so that you yep. can put your wheel in without the fucking things falling out all the time. Beep! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just little things like that that, you know, the, the, there was a heap of little things that, that were different from the Yamaha and better that I showed now and she was pretty impressed and that sort of swayed her to getting a KDM too. Anyway, sorry, I keep butting in. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I, I wasn't a big fan of the orange because I couldn't put my pink spoke wraps on, but I, I dealt with that. <laughs> and I just plaster it with, um, with stickers. 
but um, it, it's it's improved my writing tenfold, 100%. If you go back through our videos, you can see the progress that I've made. I, I personally think that I've made a pretty good progress with, with changing to the KDM as well, having a lighter, more agile bike than, than the 250 and having to struggle with everything that I did pretty much. But can you wheelie yet? I can semi-wheelie, <laughs> like this big, a semi-wheelie. <laughs> I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. Um, I don't kind of hesitate too much anymore with a lot of the things that I do on on our rides uh, with the Cato than I did with the WR. So I think anyone that's been watching our channel for a while will know how much better you're riding on the 350. So I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll stick to the Cato um, to the point where one day I'll probably upgrade to a 500. So you, and... you, to improve your riding, less yeah. weight. Yep. Hydraulic clutch. Yep. I think that's my three reasons, really. And probably the same as me. You can get parts anywhere yeah. for them. Yep. Um, They're pretty accessible. I'm kind of glad that she bought the 350 too because it's only one year different model to mine. So pretty much everything off the bike is interchangeable with my 500 except for the engine parts, obviously. But everything from suspension to everything else on the bike is pretty much interchangeable. So if I need parts, I've got a whole working bike sitting right there. <laughs> no, just kidding. But it is handy having the same air filters and all sorts of you know bits and pieces like that. Um, anyway, I think that's that. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Now, since Mark chose the pair of us, uh, I think we're only supposed to nominate one person to pass this uh, baton on to. Um, but we'll pick one each, I think. Um, I know who I want to pick, and um, I gave Nat a hint for hers too, so... Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to um, nominate a couple of dirt bike channels that we feel do really good video edits and put in the time and effort to the, the vids and are really trying to make a go of it on YouTube. Um, and. We think they probably deserve more subscribers than what they have. But we've got a fair few subscribers now and hopefully a few of you guys will check out the guys that we nominate. Um, so if you want to, you can say yours first. Okay, I'm choosing Rod from Mile Munchen Adventures. He rides the DRZ400. And goes up. Um, so I've nominated you for the three R challenge. So you've got to give us three awesome reasons why you ride the DRZ400. That's easy. Such a good bike. <laughs> and, good. and who are you nominating, Bob? Uh, I would like to choose Steve from Broken Sprocket. I think his videos are really getting up there. Um, he, he rides yellow bikes for some reason, and I would like to know three reasons why he chooses yellow bikes. But anyway, good on you, Steve. Keep up the awesome videos, mate. Um, they're getting really good. I can see you putting in the time. For someone who, who claims to be computer illiterate, your videos are getting really good, man, so cheers. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much a wrap. I can see myself over here. I'm overexposed in the light. <laughs> Camera conspiracies have <laughs> been fucking screaming. Anyway, it's time to get back home since we didn't bring the beers and uh, crack one open there. All right. Thank you for joining us. Cheers guys, see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>